Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the platform. Platypus is the name. Where's my camera? That's not it. Let me find it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Main camera. There we go. I had it off because I was recording something earlier. Just gameplay. I'm working on Hargon or Malroth very hard. Anyway, today we are doing a unit review for Rickard. Ricard. Um, really quick, though. I have been doing a terrible job, and I have the most wonderful patrons of all time. I am going to make a little um, a thing that will have all the patrons. It will say, thank you, patrons, and it's going to run really quickly at the beginning of every uh, video that I do just to say thank you. So I want to say thank you. They're right here on screen. We got Nick Hoffman, Retro Revolutions, Alex Pete, Raul VP, and Zacharoni. Thank you very much to my five patrons. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and, yeah, I will make that little slide. That way I can actually give you guys a little bit of credit and uh obviously if you guys want to support the plat patreon is probably the best way to do it uh but without further ado we are going to do a quick quote unquote you know quick by plat standards review of this new unit rickard now i don't have this unit so again this is going to be my opinion based off my knowledge of the game um and so keep you know it's an opinion we're gonna go over it and i'm just gonna read you uh, i haven't actually read his stuff yet so this isn't as in depth as you may think but uh i want first impressions really want to think about this unit so let's pull him up and let's take a look at rickard my dad's name is rick so i'm already biased i hate this unit no, i'm kidding all right let's go to max this again this is fully awakened so the stat wise are going to be a little are going to be higher than what you can expect but I just like I am going to use this as a baseline because one, it's easier to find this unit when I don't have it because it's just here in the list. Um, and Max knows Max potential. And I don't know. I just like going off Max stats. Anyway, 813 HP, Rickard. That's not particularly good, but he is a weird hybrid unit. I know he's like partially attack, partially wisdom. Um, he's got 331. Is my face look terrible? 331. I mean, the answer is no, I look beautiful, but I think my lighting is kind of weird right now there we go there we go how's that whatever um 483 attack that's really good it's not as good as you would think though there are lots of units with a lot higher attack but that is no doubt that is a very high attack that's very good um 269 defense i think that's surprisingly low 341 agility that's good you know that's like that's a very much in that pro very high, probably like the really high range but it's just it's agility is not that important um but it is very reasonable um, kind of reminds me of Elena, I think, kind of stat layouts. 342 wisdom. This actually matters on this unit. Um, that is not very high. I mean, that is high, don't get me wrong. That is high, but this is a max awakened unit. Um actually that actually might be competing. That actually might be really high for wisdom. I, wisdom don't I don't think goes as high as attack, so maybe that is pretty darn good. Movement three. Let's take a look here. Uh he gets move plus one for his dupe. That's kind of super lame. You would really hope that he uh, has a like a uh, passive move three and then he gets something else from his like first dupe, but uh, not in this case. So I don't love that. Um, any other perk? Uh, Sis type potency by 10%. You know what? I like this. This is Sis type potency, you know, very clearly as it says, but it's not physical, you know, not breath, blah, 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 blah. It's any kind of Sis type damage. So there's a good chance that he could be the best Sis leader. Um, there, there's, you know, because let's say you want to bring Sizz. You might have a Sizz physical user. You might have the Sizz breath user and Halberd Saurus. You might have a, like, Cuz Sizzle magic user. I don't know if there's magic Sizz damage that gets that strong. I mean, I'm sure this guy has it. And, um, but, you know, so that could be pretty good. I, it covers all the bases, which I like. Late Bloomer. Um, greatly raises attack and wisdom for three turns. Greatly, I believe, means two stages. Uh, when the user defeats an enemy. So when they defeat an enemy, they get a boost. And as if they kill another enemy, they'll get another boost, right? It'll keep keep going. That's nice. Um, that's pretty good. Some some stages, like right now, I'm doing the Hall of Hargon, right? And uh, against Malroth or whatever, it would be fucking shit because there's one unit. So this is like a particularly useless ability on single super hard fights. Um, but in things with lots of adds, it actually is... Um, I think it could be pretty good, right? Because it just, you don't need a buffer then if you're a damage unit. He's just going to kind of keep himself super buffed. And the fact that it's attack and wisdom is kind of cool. Um, not amazing, but I mean, it means he could use both all of his attacks, I assume. I assume he has a wisdom here. He does have one spell, three physical, one spell. So he definitely is going to be leaning towards the physical thing. 
Um, but this is actually pretty cool. He doesn't have a... Um, what I would consider a straight up trash attack. You know, a lot of characters will just have like, like even fucking some of the S units like Prison Peacock or something has like a Sizz or something. Just like, maybe it's Sizzle. I don't know. But it's like something that's just like pretty shit. And his shitty attack is Fizzling, uh, fizzling Multi Slash, which is pretty good, right? 60% four times. That's a, uh, that's very solid, actually. I think that's like equal to or even maybe stronger than hell gladiators like toxic slash which is four four times at around that and that's his ultimate attack you know ultimate attack whatever so um that's already very good cusses is major cis type spell damage to all enemies and area of effect so this is going to be very powerful probably i have to assume that it is weaker than glacial doom is for crack this is for Sizz. Not only are you not getting extra potency on it and having lower wisdom and not having a weapon for it, I think the actual wep the actual attack itself has probably just got a lower wisdom modifier. Um, probably just not as strong. But this is going to be way stronger than Sizz. And um, so this guy is already going to be pretty awesome. Just from that alone, it is 108 MP though. Jesus. Maybe that sucks. I don't know. 108 MP is a lot. He only has 331, man. I mean, you get three casts of it, and then you can go in for physical. Like, maybe. I don't know. That that, that MP is really high. I know it goes down as you level it up, but um, it's still a good ability to have, but not for drawn-out fights. You're going to want to mostly for physical, and that's kind of like maybe you'll use that on turn one as a gap closer um, as you're getting closer. And then he's got range fan S. Uh, sorry, this is called burning strike. Deal 250% potency cis-type physical damage to all enemies in area of effect. Now, I don't love this attack, but I do like it. It is good. Um, I tend to prefer really, really powerful single target for ultimate attacks like this, but and it's not ultimate. You know, it's like his like third one. Um, but you know what? I do like the AoE. 250% is is very respectable for sure. It says I don't have any says damage dealers physical, I don't think. I think my best is Hellion because I have a scroll on him and it's like not very good. So this guy would be very, very good in my team. Um, what's actually his resistance is here? He has heavy resistance to zap. I kind of wish I had him for the uh, the Malroth fight. That'd be fucking awesome. I'd have to level him up. I don't think I can get him in time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's a pretty, like, it's a respectable attack. It's not my favorite. Um, but, you know, between move three, he has between move three and a range of three. And then he has attack at a range of one. Then he has a, an attack here that's a range of one to two. Uh, he's always in range of what he, something, right? He's always going to be dealing damage. It's going to be crazy rare that he's unable to get to something to deal the damage. So that's at least nice. Uh, he sticks on people pretty well. Um, and Burning Strike seems good. I, I, I'm not like, whoa, but I like it. Um, here we go. Uh, the Kanak Clash. Um, deal 360% Sizz type physical damage to one enemy. Turns needed two. So this means on turn three you use it or on turn two you use it? I actually don't remember. Let's check Elena. Uh, even then, I don't even remember um, how many turns I have to wait. Um, so I think this means turn one, it doesn't work. Turn two, it doesn't work. And then on turn three, you get access to it. That's typically what I would expect from hero abilities because that makes them way less good in arena, but it's still very good in arena. Um, you know, if you don't mind getting 124 points or whatever. Um, yeah, so this is very good. This is kind of more my style. Again, a very, very big... This is easily going to get to like 420%, right? Like that's what um, Sorrow has for his AoE thing. So this probably gets right around there too. Um, and it, cause you're, you're going to easily get it to like plus seven. I think if you have this, um, pretty powerful slash, I like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's kind of a straightforward, you know, relatively, sorry, I've had that there the whole time, huh? Relatively boring unit, but he's, is good. Um, resistance to stun and physical lock are both important are both nice. Like, right. He does physical attacks. You don't want him physically locked. You don't want him to get stunned. Cause that sucks. You don't, he gets immune to paralysis. That's pretty good too. The confusion probably isn't going to matter. Um, but the physical lock, stun, and paralysis are all pretty nice. I personally am really biased, and I love the zap um, resistance right now because I'm trying to do Har uh, Malroth, who is a zap god. Um, and so that would, this guy would be very nice for the Malroth fight right now. Overall, I like this unit. I'm a fan. I'm going to try to keep this in at under 10 minutes, so we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, not much else to say. I think that this guy would make, obviously, a pretty respectable uh, unit on your team, but only if you actually need a Sizz physical attacker. His damage output isn't going to be above anyone else's in any other category, right? Even, like, when it comes to, like, things that are neutral, that, are like, you're probably going to be using Sorrows 
even hellions are comparable you're not gonna want to be investing your gems into this guy most likely but if you happen to get them um i think this guy can absolutely fill a wonderful niche in your team uh and that's gonna be it guys thank you so much let me know if you like these shorter uh, they're meant to be shorter uh unit reviews um but that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for platypuses for platypus thank you again to the patrons i uh, hope to see more of you guys i'll do a better job of thanking you guys and getting you guys rewards and shit anyway see you guys in the next video peace